Hello everyone, I'm John Silverman and I'd like to welcome you once again to the 10th Annual Fatherhood Lunch. One of the true highlights of the year for the Fatherhood Committee is selecting our Fathers of the Year. The Community Father of the Year honors someone who has not only been a great dad, but whose kids have gone on to do terrific things for our community. More importantly, in this case, has been an exemplary father and grandfather to so many. Please enjoy this video of our Community Father of the Year, Mel Fisher. First, let me congratulate the Talbert House on the Fatherhood Luncheon, and especially for championing great fatherhood. What a gift to our community, what a gift to so many families, it's fantastic. And of course, our family is so honored and so delighted that you've chosen to recognize our dad, Mel Fisher. You know, being a dad is not being somebody's best friend, it's not always being the cheerleader, it's not always being a nice guy. Um, it's really helping develop your children into responsible adults. And uh, he wanted us to push ourselves to be the best at whatever we chose to apply ourselves to. The fact that he was present, uh, not just physically, but figuratively, he was just present in our lives. Uh, no matter how busy he was, no matter what he had going on in his life, uh, I know my brothers and I and our extended family miss dad every day, but we're so inspired by his example. And for me, there's no title I hold more dear, no responsibility I feel more accountable for than to be a great dad for our four children. I was lucky enough to have an amazing dad who died way too young. And I was, again, fortunate to have Mel, dad, to be by my side and support me when I didn't have my own dad anymore. And my hope and my wish for uh, all children, all the ones that Talbert House is helping, uh, that they have a presence in their lives, like I had two times. Dad was uh, an amazing guy, and uh, he had a lot of sayings. Uh, when life was uh, good to all of us, and it has been in many, many ways, he would say, when I come back in my next life, I want to come back as one of Mel Fisher's sons. And when he passed, I, I just remember uh, so many people uh, coming up to us and saying what an influence he had been on their lives, um, whether he had known them for a short time or for a long time. To have been one of his sons is a great blessing, great privilege, and uh, is a legacy uh, uh, that I hope that, that we are living up to, I am living up to in the eyes of my children and uh, in our community. His favorite, and probably most of us would, would say, is uh, when it's time to work, work hard. When it's time to play, play hard. But never mix the two together because they're like oil and water. Every year before the kids start school, we've always sat them down and we've said that to them. So it's carried on. So they know, I know, I know, the talk is coming and they know exactly what we're going to say. And it came from death. You know, traditions I would look to is, you know, our, our faith. The Judaism, probably the biggest, most important part of that tradition was really the Friday night dinners, or the, the Shabbos dinner, which was at home, which was family, which was, you know, around the table, talking to each other, you know, having to be home. Even when we got, even as we got older, we, we are all very much involved in our community, uh, both locally and na internationally. And I think that all started from this kind of sitting around the table and we talk you know, many families talk about sports and other stuff, and we do. We would talk about community and all that. To me, that's probably one of the most admirable things about Dad, because that's upbringing, that Mom and Dad did such a great job bringing up these four boys. There are many people who wanted would say they were his fifth son, because he always had the time, energy, to talk to somebody, try to help somebody. And he, he, he was about helping the other man. You know, as it relates to being a father and a grandfather, he was he was um, a terrific individual. He always would um, make sure that you felt like you were the only person he was talking with and that you were the only thing that was important, whether he was talking with his grandchildren or whether it was his sons or, in fact, with my mother. To know that we as individuals never have all the answers and to always be looking to others to help lead us along the way. And my suspicion is, is that all of us can use the assistance of others in parenting and in, in helping our children 
at whatever phase of life they may be at or at whatever circumstance that any of our children may ever face. So to know that you have the resources of the Talbert House to help us as, as people and as individuals. There's a Jewish custom of saying the sanctification of the wine every Friday night. Most families, one member of the household says it. And I remember being so struck watching my father-in-law, his custom was for everyone to recite this together. So we all kind of mumble through it, but it's really kind of a metaphor for how the family functions, which is one unit and one organism, and that's because of Mel Fisher. So Mel's legacy is probably his four boys who have done really an incredible uh, amount of great successful work in our community and elsewhere. But Mel had a legion of fifth sons, and I was one of that legion, and Mel's Mel's lessons to his fifth sons were always about how to do things right, how to make an impact in the world, and how to give back. Uh, Mel had a great sense of humor and a sharp needle, and he used that sharp needle all the time. That's been passed down to his boys. A couple of them are really pretty good at it. Mel always said, when you point the finger at somebody, remember you have three fingers pointing back at yourself. And, and that also was a great saying and a great lesson in terms of taking responsibility and not trying to shirk responsibility and not trying to blame other people. Dad, all I want to say to you and to Mom is thank you both for everything that you've done, everything that you've represented. Uh, you are the greatest and Dad, we of course will always miss you and always love you, so thank you. I live every day uh, missing you uh, at this point, but um, really um, live every day to uh, kind of live up to how you treated others and uh, hoping that uh, today you can see the success that I feel like I'm having. Uh, I feel like I'm honoring you every day and uh, I uh, hope I'm making you proud. Thank you.